$50,000 grant to continue implementing a program aimed at helping people with mental health and substance abuse issues. The money is part of a $1 million community policing development grant from the U.S. Department of Justice. Amanda Denise joins us in the newsroom with how the grant will help. Lieutenant Donald McInnes from the New Bern Police Department says the department applied for this funding to help keep their co-responder program, a program he says is needed to help the citizens in Craven County. The New Bern Police Department is one of five agencies to receive funding from this grant. Since December uh, 2021, we have had the co-responder program and what it is, we have a uh, behavioral health professional paired with a police officer and they respond to different um, calls for service in which an uh, individual may be suffering uh, a mental health uh, crisis or substance abuse uh, issues. When an officer determines a person is exhibiting these issues, they request a mental health expert to come out to the scene and address that person's needs right away. Lieutenant McInnes says doing this helps reduce the chances of that person being arrested or involuntarily committed. It allows you know, us to free up officers um, once a scene has been uh, determined safe um, and a co-responder could go to that scene and uh, address whatever uh, issues the individual may be having at that point in time. Um, and this could be for a situation involving uh, a death where uh, someone uh, has recently passed due to you know, maybe a violent uh, cause um, a co-respondent could go to the scene and talk with the family to try to, you know, provide their services. In the first six months of the program, approximately 200 calls for service involved mental health issues and or substance abuse issues. For this reason, Lieutenant McInnes says funding to keep this program going is much needed. It's just a force multiplier for us because uh, we have a alternative uh, resource that we could uh, use um, to divert uh, individuals who are you know suffering from mental health uh, issues or substance abuse issues so um, it provides another avenue so that um, individuals can be taken care of and on November 22nd, the Board of Aldermen will meet to consider adopting a resolution to formally accept the grant. In the newsroom, I'm Amanda Denise with News Channel 12.